Hello animators, I'm back once again. Now, if you are an NSFW artist, then I don't like you. Seriously, I have all these epic ideas, phantom dives, slime block mechanics, wall flips, tornadoes, but I guess everybody wants to see boobs in Minecraft. Look, I will not be responsible for any... Anything that comes out of this tutorial, really. I'm doing this solely for the purpose so you guys can have female anatomy in your animations. If you decide to make NSFW, then that's your thing. I will not be responsible for any of that. Now, I'm doing this because you guys suggested it, clearly, but also because the last tutorial I made on this was outdated very quickly. But before I start the video, I want to mention something I don't mention quite a lot, and it's the fact that I'm selling merch. I'm currently still scratching my head with new designs, but if you want, you can click the link in the description and see what I have in store already, because some of these look pretty cool, and heck, why not let people know that you say no homo and everything's fine, you know what I mean? But enough about that, let's actually hop into Model Bench, and we are going to start making the female body. So before I actually start modeling, once again, I have to interrupt, I want to mention that you should have your model and the texture you're using in the same folder. That is important so the software later knows which textures to browse and can locate them easily. The way bending works has been changed in the newest update, and because of that, some parts of the female body weren't functioning as they were before. Mainly the hips were okay, so let's do the hips first. For that, I want to modify the original skin by opening it up with any program that supports file transparency. In my case, I'm using paint.net, it's a great software, I will link in the description. Again, it's not my sponsor. So I want to take out 4 pixels on the sides of the main face. So this being the main face of the body, this being the back face, let's take out uh, the same 4 pixels on the back face. As well and for the sides though I just want to take them out entirely because they're gonna be replaced by banded bodies. One thing that does help if you have clean textures on your model such as this. If you're gonna have belts and straps on here it's gonna be hard for, with the texturing later because we're gonna use bodies and we're gonna bend the bodies inwards to create the hips shape. You don't have UV maps and stuff like that in my meter so I recommend having a skin like this but if it's not possible then it's gonna be quite hard later on. I don't know how to help you with that so I'm sorry. Now open up model bench, go to textures, Alex, and now click this chain icon to relink the same texture. And now we have this, what we just created, and that's perfect, we can move on. Oh, also, we need a, we need a regular Alex skin, I'm stupid. Let's just copy paste this Alex skin. Okay, open up the Alex hole. Uh, we kind of have to fill this in. I should have saved the original, I'm stupid sometimes. So this is the Alex hole, and that is perfect. Okay, so the Alex hips, the one with no hips, is gonna be renamed to Alex main. That is going to be our main texture for the body. The Alex hole is gonna be renamed Alex hips because we're gonna modify the texture to match with the main one. And the Alex breast is gonna be nothing but the body because we're gonna need to model in the body tab, add a new body part, hip underscore left or something. Open up the textures and we have to add the new texture. We're gonna add the Alex underscore hips. Have this hip left selected, click add cube. The difference between shapes and body parts is that shapes are just a shape and body parts are going to be what you can manipulate in my animator later. This shape will not be visible, however, this body part will be. Go to material and in the texture, click on Alex underscore hips because we're using the full texture of the hips. Open up the UV viewer and now simply this is actually pretty convenient because you can modify UVs all you want right by doing something like this you can directly modify the shape of your hip and I'm pretty sure this is what I want off my hip we're making this inner cube for the bend to actually happen so if we go for pivot offset we're gonna want to put that in the center of the cube minus two minus two so now it's in the center we're gonna position it in here turn off the snapping grid and of course scale this body part to be 0.99 so it doesn't glitch here as you see also so the position, turn off the snapping grid, move it to 0.01 up, so it stops glitching on the bottom. I want to move it to 1.01, so it starts up here. Seems like the hip is completely fine. We are going to modify this texture later, but for now we want to mess with the bending options. Save the model, because if you're doing bending in Model Bench, it sometimes likes to crash. So before you mess with any of the bends, I recommend you save it. This is the right bend. We need to bend the upper part, not the lower part, so this is going to be bending now. And mess with the offset until it's in the same. Center. Bend this slightly, rotate it inward like this. Now this isn't optimal, you have to copy paste this onto the locked one. We're getting somewhere boys. So let's say we have this shape here, right? <laughs> Scale this down uh, because we're gonna position this to be inside the hip. 
Uh, this is why I use mind meter, okay? You guys always comment, why not just use model bench? Well, because, because of this, okay? I might be doing this wrong, and I probably am. Okay, of course you could go for a bigger band to make it more intruded if you want to, but I can't bother with that right now, okay? I'm not too keen in this tutorial either. I was gonna go for phantom dives, volcano eruptions, elytra flight, and that is the hips. Although the hips can be done the same method as before, so if you find that easier, because I don't like using model bench and this isn't too obvious obvious that the Alex has hips. Oh god, this is horrible. Just use my animator. If I decrease the band size, see, see, it works now, see, like this. And when it comes to breasts, I, I really don't like this tutorial. Like this, we're gonna take these pixels and make it into our breasts. Actually, the pivot offset could be on the top here as well, so minus. And now breasts are gonna be rotated like this, and we're gonna make them bendable on the X, I'm guessing. Yup, we can mess with the size, however, looks like we're gonna need more body parts, fam. And it only bends. But this is what's causing issues with texturing now. Minecraft boobs and signs. You guys really don't like me. Like, I'm doing less videos now, but when I do, you guys want me to make stuff like this. Ah! You know what? I'm just gonna do this one in my animator. Clicking on the import asset icon, we can browse for our rig. And here it should be. As you see, it's already messed up when you import it into Minimator, so I recommend you do it in Minimator entirely. And the bend is... See, this is what I'm talking about. This is, a, this is a glitch. Model Bench sometimes likes to switch which axes are actually bent, and I don't like it. If you feel confused about this explanation, you can just watch the previous tutorial I made on this, click the eye in the corner. It is literally the same thing as I did before. For the breasts, though, what you need to do, Alex, body, but if Alex lock it onto the actual body like this, but bend it from this direction, copy paste this body of Alex onto itself, reset all the values, inherit bend, and now if I bend the upper body of Alex, you can see we get this shape here. Deal down the Z, obviously, by a lot. <laughs> this looks horrible. The problem now is the texture, and that is why it looks horrible. You would have to create each texture being one line of the body. So let's let's do that real quick. Basically, what I've done here is I have body one, body two, body three. Each of them are individual components on the timeline. And now, if you actually want to do this, I'm just gonna call this B1, B3. So open up the same image editing program, stretch the first row of pixels. So this is your first row of pixels. Also, what's going to help is if you stretch these on the top as well. Go to B1 and browse for B1. So this is now your first row of pixels, which is the top Alex body. Do the same with the rest. So when you're done, all the textures are applied, you should get something like this. <laughs> and it looks like we've inverted it. So let's uh, twist it around. This is your top. Oh, is it also mirrored like this? Oh. Do I actually need to twist the textures again? Oh my god. Be right back. Finally got it. That took way more time than it should. Simply you would bend these, and as you see we get some deformations on the body. Let's just align it manually. Yeah, I said no, I feel disgusted by making the, these tutorials, really, because I have I I don't this feel as wrong as it is, man. You can also put a texture in here, have it be exactly the same color as the skin, hold on. Or you could eyeball it, like this. Doesn't matter, I really don't want to work on this. Now I did make the one in the thumbnail, but I'm not finishing this one. Fix the hips while we're at it. Uh, give it Alex body. Now copy paste the hips onto the hips, put them inside the body, rotate it out like this. And now as you see, the hips are working once again. However, texturing. So you need textures for each individual ones, or if you dislike this whole idea. Heck, why not just add a freaking cylinder up here, right? Hey, this is post-production sharp. So the way I ended up doing it is the hips remained the same and the upper half ended up being a cylinder to which I've projected Alex's body and just slightly delay it. The reason the cylinder isn't sticking out anywhere else is because I used two semi-transparent cubes, put them to 1% and mess with render depths of the cylinder and the cubes. If you want to know how that works, click the eye in the corner, I explain the alpha glitch, but that is mostly it. But there's a lot of different ways. I'm not gonna finish either of those because I always get comments of people who don't have the exactly same results and they're like, it doesn't work, how do I do that? Look, it's never going to be exactly the same. You're gonna have your skin, you're gonna have different issues with the texturing and different ways of modeling and stuff. Let this video be a guideline on how to do it. I'm not gonna fully finish it because then I'm gonna feel even more guilty. I don't like doing this because it's controversial, but at least it gives you an idea. Use this as a guideline, not as a sharpen told me how to make boobs because I don't want to go down that route. 
And I most definitely don't want to troubleshoot hundreds of people why their breasts aren't working the way they should be. I want to stay out of this as much as I possibly can. You guys voted, I provided, I explained, now it's up to you. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope you enjoyed, because I did not. Not a single bit, but that is what I have for you in this video. As I mentioned before, I have a previous method. It is very similar to this one. The upper half of the body doesn't work properly anymore. So I showed you a bunch of alternatives to this, and you can really get creative in all sorts of ways you possibly want to. Now, thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay sharp.